we got we got future kids coming in. Come in, kids. We're done. Do you know who he is? Yeah. What's his name? Anderson. Oh my God. Do you, what team does he play for? Spurs. All right. What's his number? Where did he go to high school? Here. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> here, right here. Have, have you ever seen him before in person? I'm taller than him. I've seen him play, maybe. Do you want to take a selfie? Sure. Come in the back. Come in the back. Okay. Well, you want to ride? I gotta go, bro. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Say what's up to the camera, ladies. Hi. I am with Mr. Kyle Anderson. Snowmo. What's up, man? Not much. Same old, same. <laughs> Today is today the last day of summer. It's the last day of summer, right? Fall. Today is. Today's the first day was. Okay, so today's the first day of fall. Yeah. All right. How was your summer? It was cool. It was good. Uh, didn't do much. More of a summer to focus on what I got to do yeah. for next season, and other than having fun. So. Okay. It was cool. So you're going into your. Mm, you're going to your fourth year. Excited? Yeah, definitely. Always. Some living the dream. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when you uh, when you were a rookie, you came in to now. The league's changed right. quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, tell me about the change and what have you learned so far. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've learned a lot. Um, just learned a few things as far as the league changing. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, but I've, I've learned a lot of things just about the league. It's <laughs> basically, you look at the league as, you know, it's, you come in, you come in thinking it's a, you know, buddy, buddy business and everybody's for you and everybody loves you. That's, that's not how it is. It's a business. You go into your league by, by yourself and that's how you got to fend for yourself. Okay. It's a pretty weird way of thinking about it, but it's just what you got to do. In terms of what you learn about the game, you play the high school phase, College phase and now pro phase, like when you I saw you during your rookie year I think, yeah. and you were like that's a you totally different. No, there, yeah, there's no it's a <laughs> NBA is way different from the you know levels under it. Yeah. it's a business. It's it's not even close. Let's, how, let's how just different it is. go. We don't have to go too deep into it, right. but give me a little surface. Like school me in on uh, some I of the stuff. I think high school, college, you're doing it. For fun, you're doing it, you know, out of, of course you love the game on both levels, well some do, but of course yeah. you love the game on both levels, I know I do, but high school and college, you're doing it for fun, you're doing it, you know, it's not as serious, it's serious, you know, some take it serious, but it, when you go to the league and, you know, this is, it's All based right. on whether you're feeding your family or not, this is, you know, huge. Right, you right, know, right. Whether, how, how serious you take it. Uh, I feel like in high school, college, you can kind of cut corners. You may be talented. In other kids, you might be more athletic. But in the NBA, I think you, you're going to learn pretty soon that it doesn't work like that. Can't it's cut a, corners, It's a right? business. Uh, like I said, you in this business by yourself. Can't really trust other people. <laughs> you, know, you may have your select if you want to trust, but it's, it's a business in the NBA. Uh, but in terms of play style, mm -hmm. like um, offense, defense, yeah. In terms of on court style, how different is that? Yeah, you you play against the best players in the world. Yeah. Uh, these guys, uh, you know, they were the best players on their high school team, on their college team. So you know, it's, it's the elite. It's, you know, it's not a cakewalk. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Um, and in terms of physical, like playing, even look, I know you didn't get that many minutes, but you're still playing right. every day, practice and right. everything. Like how is your body like first year yeah. when you play versus third year that it's, you just finished? It's tough to adjust to. Um, you know, it's it's a learning process really. Although some people don't get the time to learn, but it's a it's all a learning process. You just gotta you know soak everything in, learn from the good and bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this summer you finish your third year of Life Day event, uh -huh. right? Um, I've never really been there, but I know about it. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, just uh, I think the third year went well, went really well. Uh, we were able to, we switched locations. Um, went from Cliffside Park to North Bergen, 
um, New Jersey. Yeah. We did it at James Braddock Park in North Bergen. Uh, I think we got a lot of support from the town. You, you could turn it off if you wanted to. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we got a lot of support from the town. Um, a lot of people came out. Yeah. Community. I think it was it went really well. Um, every year it's getting better and better, um, and that's really the aim. Uh, is it you know so just to pick up more and more. Um, you know, have a day where we bring the community together and, you know, share laughs, uh, celebrate life. Um, so every year it's getting better. This year went really well. Do people still come, do people come up to you like, hey, I have, you know, I have these kind of problems that people um, had or? No, I'm not really straightforward with it. Uh, yeah. Not really. We haven't had anybody do that um, up here, but, uh. No, no, no. Um, for next year, fourth year, fourth year of the event, what do you want to do? Uh, Something, I mean, what element do you want to add into? Yeah, like, it's still early. Keep it the same, really. Uh, I don't think there's really much to add. Uh, maybe we'll pick up ideas along the way. Um, I understand we were supposed to have something for the little kids this year, and it didn't really fall through, like a bouncy house and things for them. It didn't really fall through. We had we had things for kids. We had you know a bunch of art stuff they can pick out from um, from the kids peace team. They I did a great job supporting. Yeah. Um, but I think that's something I want to add in uh, as we go. That's what it comes to mind now. Something for the kid, like a bouncy house or something, or you know, so the kids are on board while they're there. Okay. Okay. And. Um while we're in Jersey, in one of the most hilliest neighborhoods mm -hmm. in America, um, a few miles down the road, south of over here, St. Anthony's. Yeah. Or was St. Anthony's, right? Uh -huh. um, what do you think when that happened, man? Uh, I get that question all the time, and my, I, my first high school closed down, so I mean, it's like I'm numb to it. It's, you know, it's really sad. You oh know, my God. Of course, yeah. you want to keep the school open, and Coach Harley's great tradition and all the great things yeah. he does for the kids, and you want that to live on forever. You want him to, uh, you know, be that stool in the Jersey City community, yeah. you know, forever. People, you know, something for people to lean on, but, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on. Like I said, I had this happen before, so. You know, it was tough, but you might be the only former high school guy that went to two high schools that closed down. Yeah, me and Miles Mack. Wow, yeah. that's a uh, that's a. <laughs> Do you talk to anybody from St. Anthony's? Uh, Any of the former guys on your team? Uh, Hallis Cook is one of my okay. best friends. I talk to him every yeah. day. So he's clear now, right? Yeah, he's good to play. He's good to play. Yeah, I know he's last few years he's had some turbulent. Yeah journey going through but now he's clear he's going his final year yeah i don't know if we're in the uh, area he schedule he's in nevada yeah yeah he's in reno yeah, not in vegas no, no teams in nevada <laughs> <laughs> um no teams yet in nevada all true right so, yeah um so st anthony closing this summer a lot of big runs a lot of buzz you were living right in that building right i think no, 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 not in the sky building. Okay, no. but you were playing over there. Yeah, yeah. How was that? <laughs> uh, it's cool. Um, that was one of the things me and my dad sat down this summer and talked about was this summer playing against NBA competition so that you know I'm ready for it for the season. So we got that done and that was good. It was good that was uh, Mel had those runs over there. So. It was, cool. was the previous summers you weren't playing? I mean, it's tough to fire runs. It's you know they're. UCLA wasn't going, or these mm -hmm. runs over here weren't going. So, okay. you know I mean, I'd go to Seton Hall and play against those kids, uh, which is good competition. They got yeah. good kids over there. You know, um, other than that, it was you know, going against my friends. <laughs> hey, speaking of Seton Hall, Shaheen, Shaheen was, I was with him, and I he shot a video. He was like, man, Kyle's like the biggest fish we ever missed. Yeah. He still says it, like, on the video. He was like, man, that was our biggest program changer. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's I, like... I feel bad. I mean, <laughs> not feel bad, obviously. They're doing a great job, and they're going to be very successful. Both young coaches, they're going to have a lot of success in the college game. And uh, and I love those guys. I love the way they run their program. I love Coach Willard. I love Coach Howard. But uh, it just came down to what I had to do best for yeah. myself. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't want it for it to go like that. Believe it or not, I was committed to seeing all week before, but... 
you know, I made a grumpy what? decision. So <laughs> it is what it is. Were you were you were you really committed? Not to committed, but, but I But like is in your mind, you're like that's what I wanted to Okay, play. gotcha, gotcha. Um so those runs but those runs in the summer had been great for you. Yeah, definitely. Um anything you added into it or you figure like, oh this was new stuff you could you know, new tricks you could No, nah, just really taking a challenge, really. Uh you going as good NBA players when you step in that gym, so mm-hmm. just uh just working on your game really is you don't have anybody over your shoulder, you know, telling you to pass the ball or work or do this or do that. It's just going yeah. in there and we having fun playing basketball. And what have you been working on? Uh, this summer, just a whole lot of different things. Um, being able to catch and shoot the ball. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of other things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, when well, you signed with Adidas a few years back, mm-hmm. they were still kind of like not there yet. They kind of fell down a little bit at that time. Mm-hmm. And the last few years, it's just been a run up. Right. Um, a few days ago, there was just reports already past Jordan Graham mm-hmm. in terms of sale, which is like unheard of, yeah. unheard of. What's your thoughts when you sign with them, and what's it like being uh, well, I've, rep by them? Adidas, uh, I've known a few guys and a lot of the guys at Adidas since you know, I was a kid. Yeah. Going to high school American camps with my dad, you know, just watching. So, you know, I know a lot of those guys, great relationships with some of those guys. So, um, I think it was, it was a no brainer on where I was going to go, uh, or who I was going to sign with. And, you know, the fact that they're taking off in these past few years is you know, just to add on. Did you great. see like a huge stride or you? Or yeah, I think everybody you, has. Everybody has. But when you sign, when you sign at that time, like you, you thought. Right, this is going to be big in a few years, or you, like, once you got first year, second year, you saw, like, all the big strides that they took. Yeah, it was, yeah, you know, you should, I saw it after I saw it, obviously. Um, I always knew they were a good company, despite what other people said about them. Um, they've always been great to me. Uh, like I've said, I've always had great relationships with yep. those guys, so, since I was a kid, so. It's pretty much a no-brainer for it to do as well as it has been doing as a plus. How's the products compared to when you had it in college till now? In terms <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it's bad. It no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, bad. it's obviously improvements. Right. But in terms of, like, the improvements from your perspective? Uh, I would say, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just shoes, not yeah. clothing or anything. No, I've always... Played in Adidas, so if if I ever thought it was you know bad or uncomfortable or something like that, I would have never done it. So I've always obviously thought it was comfortable, and you know it's <laughs> it's just a plus that's been taking off these past few years. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know. Uh, to me, I've always seen as big as Adidas is now. I've always seen Adidas that in my eyes. Yeah. So what are you rocking now in terms of Adidas shoes on the court? Uh. I got a C for this year. Last year I wore uh, a few James Harden sneakers. Okay. And then, uh, I'm pretty superstitious, so I wore a pair of shoes from my second year, too. So. Really? Same pair? Yeah. You, okay. So. <laughs> um, what about casual, off the court? Uh, um, Stan Smith's. Uh, are you big on Yeezys? Yeezys? Yeah, okay, yeah, of are. course, yeah, of course. Right. Uh, what about the Boost? The boost Everybody yeah. loves the Boost. The Boost, the NMDs, yeah, they're all great uh, for sure. Now, do you, get, do you get the connects to be like, all right, we got the super exclusive ones, these are for you? Uh, a few of them, yeah. I got a few nice exclusive ones in my closet. Okay, <laughs> like super rare? Uh, yeah, you can say that. Mm-hmm. Um, UCLA this season, past season, couple of seasons. What do you think they're gonna do this fall? Um, they look good. Uh, the kid Hands is pretty good. Um, Jalen Hands is really yeah. good. Uh, the kid, uh, what's I forget the kid. He's he's you know long wing. I forget his name. I've you seen him come back. Yeah, yeah. I've you know seen some of their workouts. Yeah. Those kids, Chris Wilkes. Chris okay. Wilkes is good. Uh, they got. A, Good team coming back. Um, 
And you go to pr- do you check out their practice? When I, you no, I just watch them work out for a few minutes and okay. you know, see it on Instagram or so. Okay, okay. Like that, okay. So. That's still pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jersey basketball. What's your thoughts recently? Have you kept in touch with like some of the youth, younger guys? Uh, yeah, I watch them. Uh, I keep yeah. up with it. Uh, I just let them all know that I'm here if they need me. Um, mm-hmm. If they got any questions, or I always, you know, ask them if they're, you know, they're good, mm-hmm. or anything they want to know. Always call me, and a lot of them do reach out, which yeah. I respect. So. Or which guys, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've spoken to Quiverly before, Lewis yeah. King, those the two Hunter Catholic kids, yeah. uh, the kid Muhammad. Um, you know, they 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 always they you know hit me up, and you know I'll hit them up, or you know things like that. You know, just see them around the way. Yeah. What know. did these guys ask you, like generally? What's the general question, like advice to pick on college? Uh, they you know I've gotten that. Um, you know I've gotten, of course, what's the NBA like? Uh, you know, just just different things, basketball things, off the court things, things you can't really. Kids stuff, you know. Yeah, 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 like yeah, that, yeah. You know? But what's what's your now that you've passed a few years, you're older, wiser, smarter, stronger, and better. What's your advice for some of the young guys that are going through what you're going through uh, at in this area? Or I would say, else? don't believe all this hype. Uh, but it's hard not to get caught up in that, right? Exactly. That's, like, that's, that's, that's what I'm here for. Well, not me, but that's what I wish I would have heard. Um, in high school, you're getting told your best thing since... Sliced sliced, cheese. Yeah, yeah sliced you know? bread, right? Sliced bread. So I'll admit I'll, I'll admit this. You know, my, my freshman year at UCLA, I was looking at the weight program. I don't need to do this. You know, I'll, I'll be out of here in the a weight. few months. I don't, I don't need to go to the gym. You know, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I need to you know, work on my game for. So, you know, I, I I just believe all the hype that you get in high school is no good. Because it, it, it affected me. Uh, yeah. You know, just, you know, so. So you didn't go to the weight room, I, I did, but, but you like, know, I, I, you gotta like get my not, drift. Like, like really I'm, I'm not, I didn't work as hard as I thought I could have. You know? Okay, gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. And yeah. you think, do you think, um, how do you think we could prevent that stuff? It's tough. It's With Instagram is crazier it's, now, it's, man. There's some that get it, and there's some that don't get it. Either you're gonna get it, or you're not gonna get it. Yeah. I don't think I got it my freshman year, and shame on me or whatever. You know, I think I made up for it second year, but it's it's. I see kids that are hungry, and you see kids that you know get complacent, and it's it's hard not to get complacent. But the great ones keep pushing. The great ones want to keep on getting better. I think who do you who who do you think are the the next top couple? It's, of, it's tough to say. It's because of all that happen, exposure, anything right? Can happen, yeah. Anything can happen. You know? Wow, I didn't know. That's that's a really honest thing, you know. And it's really great to hear that, you know. You mentioned. What, I just wish all that hype wasn't like that in high school. It's not fair to the kids because if you don't pay, if say you do give your all, you do work hard, mm-hmm. and. It doesn't work out, then it's oh shame on him. He's terrible. What a bust! You don't deserve to get called that because you were right. really good at something and something didn't work out your way. What yeah. You, what are you? That's not fair to anybody. That's not fair to a grown man. That's not fair to a 19, 20 year old kid. What right, right. There's a lot so, of pressure. There's a lot of pressure. You know that that all that hype and that stuff in high school is a gift and a curse. You know. Did you feel? Was there a time where you felt like? Uh, was it because of like YouTube, Instagram? Well, Instagram was still young at that time, yeah. right? Uh, Twitter was at that time. Right. That was big. Yeah. Now it's kind of like dying out. Right. Um, did you feel like uh, those were some of the things that you, guys at your age at that time, 18, 19, was looking at all the time? Uh, or well, it was brand new. It wasn't as big as it was now. Yeah. It was- at that time, it was just us up there. It was just kids up there. It was just 18, 19, 21, you know, young adults. But now you got people as far as, you know, grown-ups, politicians, yeah. uh, things like that. Everybody on Twitter. So you, it's, it's it, grown tremendously. Are you still using Snap or no? Yeah, yeah, I got Snapchat. Well, which, which is more of your usage now? Like Instagram yeah, Snapchat for sure. It's more private. 
Okay. But I'm with your friend. I don't got everybody on Snapchat. I got my, my people, my friends. Because you know, you're like the first guy. You are really the first guy that I've got exposed to Snapchat. I believe we made Snap. No, nah, I don't think we made it as big, but around campus, I remember at UCLA, we were the basketball. Our, our, I remember Shabazz and Jordans were the first ones on it. And we started putting everybody on around campus. And then everybody got on it. And then I told my friends back home, when I come home, then everybody got it that time. I don't say that we put yeah, everybody I, on Yeah, because I didn't it, hear about it until you mentioned it. Yeah, but, you know, I think we were the first ones on it. Early adapters. <laughs> yeah, early, very early. But now the things change so much, right? These kids are now using, like, Instagram more yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Um, okay. Kids. We got kids coming in. Are we going to have to wrap it up? We got a dad coming in. We got a bunch of kids coming in here. But um, I think, uh, <laughs> thank you for closing the door. Uh, I think, I think we, we're, we're kind of good on all the stuff we talked about, man. Some really honest, yeah. like, great talk. And uh, you know, oh, we, got, we got future kids coming in. Come in, kids. We're done. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Yes. What's his name? Tyler Anderson. Oh my God. Do you, what team does he play for? Spurs. All right. What's his number? Where did he go to high school? Here. No, just kidding. No. Um. <laughs> here. Right here. Right here. Have, have you ever seen him before in person? I'm taller than him. I've seen him play many times. Do you want to take a selfie? Come in the back. Come in the back. Okay. Ooh, you want to ride? I gotta go, bro. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Say what's up to the camera, ladies. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're done. Perfect. This is on Instagram. Follow no. me on Instagram. <laughs> 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 <laughs>